So in terms of um, preparing oneself for uh, lifelong learning, um, I think what you need to do is um, keep a sense of, uh, uh, you know, a, a desire to discover new things, obviously things like that. Um, but uh, lifelong learning for me isn't studying all the time the same thing. It will be more that you are uh, open to new technologies, uh, resourceful, can are able to find new things to to help you uh, grow and develop. And it might be soft skills at one point and and hard skills at, at another one. I think for for institutions to awaken that interest, uh, they do that successfully with many people already today. I, I'm sure you're a lifelong learner. Uh, and uh, I think we can draw from each of our experiences of, of having experienced great professors and, and things like that uh, that have helped us uh, develop an interest in improving ourselves continuously. Okay, so um, I guess in terms of students uh, looking to become more globally competent and understanding the world a little bit better, um, you don't need to know 30 languages to become worldly. But I think it's difficult to know just one language and become worldly. Uh, so I would strongly encourage them to just learn one other one and try to navigate in another society using a, a, a foreign language. And you discover not just a lot about another society, but you s discover a lot about yourself. And almost that self-awareness um, is what makes you worldly. Recognizing that you know, your lifestyle, your assumptions about how you know, uh, a family should be together aren't necessarily universal. And all of that makes you just an easier person to get along with when you're in a different uh, culture. So I would say learn, you know, learn some other languages, things like that. Uh, but um, probably above all else, you know, travel, see the world. Um, I, for example, just in my personal life, uh, uh, did an extensive amount of traveling when I was a student. Um, and I know rail passes aren't as cheap today as they were then. But I took the Trans-Siberian uh, Railway um, back in. 91 or something like that just after the collapse of the Soviet Union eye opening you know i could understand a whole you know that not everything was was like the west and that that kind of helps you think a little bit differently about the world